Hi everyone. Um, I know it's been a long time, but I started in December. I started a new position at work, which works. I work a lot of hours and they're long hours. And then in February, I fell at work and I've been off work since then. Um, at first we thought we, I tore my ACL and my meniscus and then I come to find out that I fractured the top of my tibia on the outside of my leg so I haven't made any soap in a long time and so we're gonna make some tonight I have some new molds I want to try out and I have some new mica colors so and let's see new fragrance also so tonight we are going to make coconut and lemongrass it's a scentsy type. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. In here, I already have all my oils and my additives. Um, I'm going to give them a zhuzh. And then we're going to put the lye in it. So, like I said, if it's too loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> solution now this is my lye solution also has my um, toss of silk in it now I'm just going to bring this to a very very light trace <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm at my house. Um, I decided to um, move my soap room to my home from Christie's. Um, my grandson and his mom was living with us and they just recently moved out. So I now have a room here at my house. So when I come home from work, if I wanna make soap, I can make soap okay so I'm gonna get the I think I'm gonna put the colors in first and then do and then hand stir the fragrance in because um, I just don't want this to get so thick so I'm gonna get my containers here I'm gonna be doing white gold and a green Trying not to get this in your eyes' way so you guys should see what I'm doing. Um, until I figure out how I'm going to set this up in here. This is just a trial and error today because I'm not sure how I'm going to set my phone up to record or if I'm going to use the iPad to record. Um, but right now I don't have anything to uh, really set those on something to, you know, attach them to, to, to record. I'd like to get a, a, a camera, like a video camera, but we'll see. Right now, it's pretty good standing here on my, on my leg, but... 
I'm making soap. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That was my dad. Kind of love him. What are you doing in here in the cold? <laughs> I think for the most part, I'm going to use my white. And the two smaller sections, I'm going to use um, my gold. There's my gold. I love that color. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to use um, one of the, I have two different shades of green, and this one is going to be the seafoam green. There it is. up my white first and then go to the gold and then to the green. Pretty. I don't know if you guys can see the little the little mica fuzzies. <laughs> Sorry guys. do is I'm going to put like a big portion of the most of the white down in the mold first and then I'm going to pour the gold and the green into it oh I must put, forget my fragrance oh my lord that would have been something huh Like I said, I was just going to hand stir this in anyway, so. Oh, does that smell good? It almost smells like, uh, hmm, almost, I don't want to say a suntan lotion, but if you were to go to um, a store that carries a lot of, like, tanning products or tropical uh, that's what this smells like oh it smells yummy let's get these stirred in real quick the gold is so pretty
all of my fragrances and micas that I'm using today, well, except for this one. Um, this one's not from Be Scented. Um, most, uh, this fragrance I got from New York Scent. Or New York, yeah, New York Scent. And you can find them, I think it's, uh, www.newyorkscent.com and they have some really good prices on their oils and every one I've used so far has been spot on um, you know like I, I read all the reviews on it um, to see you know how it's behaved for other people um, if the scent is retained in the soap after you're done after it cures so this is the new soap um, mold I got it's a little two pounder from Be Scented I really like it. I'm gonna tr well, I'm gonna try it for the first time today. Ooh, my white got a little thick. Ooh. Did not want that to happen. Let's take some of this back out so I can have some at least to do for the top. Soaping a little warmer than what I usually do, so I think that might be affecting this. I don't know if you can see that sparkle on there or not. My grandson's, he's been gone what, from the house a couple weeks now, um, but he's coming, he's coming for the weekend. I'm going to go pick him up tomorrow so he can come stay with Nana. Well, hopefully... That'll look nice on the inside of there. We won't know until we cut it, so. All right, I'm gonna put the rest on the top and then we're gonna I think we'll swirl the top.
I think with this extra, on, I'm going to leave some in these containers. I'm going to try out this new little mold here to see how it works. I don't know because it's uh, pretty thick, pretty thick here, so I don't know if I'm going to get... I know, I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. Well, I'm going to get to go back to work. Um, Monday, actually, is my first day back since February 10th. Um, but I'll be wearing my immobilizer, and I'll be using crutches. This has just been a... Poor Christy, she took me to... The day after I did it, um... Christy came over and picked me up and took me down. I had to literally use a walker to go up through my yard. Then she had to get a wheelchair for me to uh, go inside the doctor's office. They took x-rays. They didn't see nothing. Said I had to make an appointment with Omni, so I did that. Um, then... Getting back to the house, I had to use the walker coming down through the yard, and I was in so, so much pain. That immediate care place I went to, let me just say, sucks butt. Um, they gave me nothing. Not, not an ace bandage, not a regular band-aid, not aspirins. Not any pain pills, and I was in pain for days. Then I went, like I said, I went to Omni, and uh, they had examined the, looked at the x-rays. Well, they were inconclusive. So then I had to go back like two weeks later and get, uh, sorry guys, I'm going to pound this. Um. Okay, I had to get an MRI done, and that's when we found out I had a fracture on the on the outside of the tibia on the top. It's like right where your knee goes. And, uh, yep. And they just put me in, like I said, the immobilizer, and then... Um, I'm going to put a little glitter on the top because this is pretty. Okay, guys. That is the um, coconut and, or, yep, coconut and lemongrass. I'll bring you back for the cutting. I forgot that I had promised to show you the other two soaps that I had made. Um, the red, white, and blue one is lemongrass and green tea, and that's what I put on the top, and that is oatmeal, milk, and honey. I almost forgot that I promised to show you guys those, and this I just left as a natural base. It colors itself, um, because of the, um honey and vanillin that's in in the fragrance oil so those are the two new ones that are very cured and that's it for now okay well i can't show you the cutting only because my cutter broke and i just now got it fixed so this is the coconut lemongrass you can see that the swirls came out really nice. I'm really pleased with how it came out. 
I didn't get it pounded enough because it was thick to get the air bubbles out, but that's okay. I'm happy with it. Thanks for watching.